to be able to do it by my favorite landing gear uh, helped me make it happen. Uh, the Star Wars Imperial TIE Fighter build uh, in Starfield. Uh, so this is inspired by the TIE Fighter from Star Wars, and uh, it's a it's a pretty amazing build, uh, and I've used just uh, lasers on this thing, so um, I don't know, you'll just have to see it in action. I'll try and do the build pretty fast, to feel free to slow the video down, uh, or maybe you'll get some tips and tricks to uh, make it your own. And uh, I've also done the uh, ship parts on this one, so let's get to that, and then uh, I'll leave that up, and you can pause on that screen if you need to see all the ship parts. That's a lot of ship parts, but uh, we made use of the uh, Demo Spine F, which is the thinnest piece that I could find uh, for the wings uh, of the TIE Fighter. Um, so let's take a look at that, and uh, we'll go right to the game. Okay. So I'm going to show you how to build this thing from scratch. You've got the uh, list of parts, so I'm just going to pull these parts out one by one, try and say I'm pretty fast so that we can actually fly around. I've taken a mission. Uh, the Empire has charged us with the, the destruction of a pirate ship uh, that uh, Grand Moff Tarkin is uh, upset with, so we're going to go destroy that thing. I'm using the uh, NG-6 landing bay. Of course, you got to have a landing bay touching the ground, so I tried to make it just as thin and unobtrusive as possible. Uh, the entrance to that landing bay is on the top, uh, so I'm going to place the Deimos control station there. Now, I don't know why you'd want more crew on this ship, uh, but... And my crew is upset with me because I've been destroying... Uh, I've been destroying allied ships in space just because I got uh, so excited about this thing. But uh, anyway, I'm going to put the... After this, I'm going to put another uh, hab, and that is the Deimos Captain's Quarters 2x1, right on top of that control station. Okay. Uh, then on the on the front of that, I'm going to place the Hope 11 Docker. Okay, you got to have a Docker for your ship, so this enables us to do that. And I was able with this Nova Cowling to sort of hide it a little bit. And that is the Nova Cowling 2 LPF, and I've placed underneath. Uh, two PBO-175 auto helium beams. That's nasty. On the weapon mounts underneath there. Okay, and then I'm taking another Nova Cowling for the other side. Okay. Starboard 4 and uh, Port 4. Okay. Now behind that we're going to place the 1040DS mag inertial reactor from Dogstar. Okay, right behind that uh, Deimos Captain's Quarters. And then we're going to place a Nova Cowling 2LPA port aft and starboard aft Nova Cowling. Okay, so it creates that shape right there. Okay, that's great. Now we're going to place the Deimos Living Quarters on top of here. And that's going to go right on top of the, uh, the other one. Okay. And then behind that we're going to place the White Dwarf 3030 engine. That has... 3,210 maneuvering thrust. Okay, on this side of that hab, we're going to place the Aurora 13G grav drive that's in the back section 
the aft section of that hab on the side. The Aurora 13G grav drive has uh, 33 grav jump thrust and requires Starship Design Rank 2. We're going to put a 500T helium tank on the other side. Just on the opposite side of the grav drive. And that has 210 grav jump fuel and requires Starship Design Rank 2. All right, behind, uh, behind either one of those, we're going to place the Nova 1050 engine. And that has 4,500 maneuvering thrust. And there are several versions of these, two versions of these, and you can just get the other one by pressing Z. You're going to copy it and bring it to the other side. And that creates some of the sort of rounded cowling of the ship that we're looking for. Okay, that requires Starship Design Rank 4. Uh, on top of our grav drive, we're going to place the uh, Stroud Mid-Bracer. And that's actually going to connect to the Nova 1050 engine. Because for some reason, the Stroud Mid-Bracer doesn't have a connection on the bottom. We are going to have to do without it. Okay, let's place another Stroud Mid-Bracer on the opposite side on top of the helium tank. Uh, and then I guess let's put these on here. This is the Tayo Braking Engine Starboard. And we're going to place that connected to the Stroud Mid-Bracer and the 500T Helium Tank. Uh, this is the same if you just hit Z, you'll get the other version for the opposite side. We're going to place that on the opposite side. Okay. All right. All right. Now, on either side of the front of our Deimos living quarters, we're going to place the Tayo side cap just to sort of fill this area uh, that was left behind by the uh, Tayo braking engine. And also to create more of a rounded shape for the center black section of the ship, which will be sort of like the, uh, the cockpit area. And then we're going to put a porthole 4 on the front of that thing. On the front of the Deimos living quarters. All right. Now to attach our cockpit to all of these habs that we have, we're going to use a Deimos workshop. I like to have a workshop on the ship so that we can work on our spacesuit and our weapons, and then pr play the uh, place the samurai cockpit in front of that Deimos workshop. All right. On the top here, we're going to put a Deimos companion way. It has five mass. You could just uh, you could use something else. We're not using a docker on top of here. Uh, so that's up to you. And we're going to place the Vanguard Bulwark Shield Generator on top of that. That uh, uses 12 of our power and uh, generates 1,450 shield max health. We're going to put a Nova Cowling 1 LSM on the starboard side of this companionway. And then on the port side, we're going to put one flipped around the opposite direction. Create a rounded shape for the top of the TIE Fighter cockpit. Then we're going to place the Tayo Cowling 4 top in the front. And then the aft top in the back. Continuing to create that rounded shape uh, for, the, for the cockpit uh, of the TIE Fighter. All right. Now, to make the wings, I'm going to make one of these wings uh, with you, and then the other one you can make yourself. I'm going to start with the Stroud Engine Bracer A and connect that to uh, the Stroud Mid Bracer. Okay? If you need to move this up or down, you can hit F to go down or R to go up. You can also just, uh, if we didn't have this Stroud Engine Bracer right here, you can just put your mouse over where you want to connect it. And then go down to the engine bracer and click on it. 
Okay. But I think for color's sake, we're going to copy this one. We're going to hit Control G. Pull that over. All right. Now, the uh, Demo Spine F has a connection on the top and bottom, but not on the uh, uh, fore and aft of it. So what we have to do is we have to create uh, a connector for all of these. We're going to use the Stroud nose cap C because it's uh, narrower here. I wonder if there's actually this other Stroud. It's even narrower. I wonder if it has a connection on the top and bottom or if it's just for weapons. Stroud nose cap C. That's the one we used. Stroud nose cap D. Uh, might be even better. These are connectors for pieces. Uh, all right. Well, let's build it the way we had it, but we have the option of using that piece. So now we're going to take one of our demo spine F, place that on there. Oh yeah, the back piece here is the Stroud Cap B port aft. Okay. Stroud nose cap C port four and Stroud nose cap B port aft. And then you can uh, put these on here. one by one if you want, or if you have a single one and you haven't colored them yet, you can always hit Control G and then just pull them back to the spot that they go in. All right, you're going to need 38 of these because there's going to be 10 on the top and only nine on the bottom, and you'll see why in a minute. Okay, there's 10, 3 by 3, and then another one on top of that. And then we're going to use the Demo Spine D4 and aft to create the uh, sort of shape of the top of the wing there. Okay, pretty cool. Then I'm going to double click here. And bring all of these demo spine F over here. Connect them to the bottom. You can do them one by one or copy them or however you can get it done. And I've excluded those other pieces because I'm going to show those to you. Now there's nine here on the bottom and ten of this demo spine F. All right. But in the front here, we're going to put a demo skeg A. Create the shape of the wing just a little bit. And then the demo skeg A in the aft position. And then we're going to use our favorite landing gear, the NG20 landing gear from Nova Galactic. You can only get this at the uh, new homestead. Uh, so maybe I'll show you in a minute uh, how I how I flew this thing over here with not enough landing gear because I made it at my outpost and we should be able to take this entire wing and place this on here okay nice now you might have to build your own uh, wing bit by bit but after you have these on here for one side uh, you can just copy them and bring them over uh, if that's a lot easier. And what you can do if you don't have this uh, landing gear, uh, you can place something here like the uh, Deimos Hull. Yeah, Deimos Hull A, right? And then if the only landing gear you have available is the Accu-Lander landing gear, then I think it takes three landing gear. There we 
we go. And you can uh, take that and uh, hit Z so you have all your connectors, right? And then just copy that as many times as you have to. It'll be a little bit of an expenditure to, uh, to do that and then just delete this landing gear. But you can get enough landing gear on the ship to uh, get it over here to New Homestead from your uh, ship builder. Okay? And now, without the weapons here, uh, we would have uh, more warnings than this, but... But you can see these landing gear, it is enough uh, to to land the ship on its wings like that and sort of suspend this, uh, this landing bay. So I've gone to my weapons and just put my PBO-175 auto helium beam here. But we have four of them. And they're going to recharge pretty fast because of that. We're going to put all the energy that we can into those. Uh, because we don't have any missile systems uh, or turret or EM or anything like that. If you wanted some, there's certainly uh, places where you can place weapons uh, on the ship. And uh, down here at the bottom of your NG-6 landing bay, you could put missile systems down there if you wanted to. Missile launchers. Uh, but I'm going to show you uh, how we did... Uh, with just these uh, lasers, we have taken uh, a quest to go kill uh, a pirate ship, and we're going to do that right now. All right, let's see this thing in action, shall we? Now, you're only allowed uh, nine uh, levels high. So, uh, that's how high I could make that wing. I know the TIE Fighter wings uh, seem to be uh, much higher than that. Also, this docker, it's great because uh, these Nova cowlings sort of create the look of the TIE Fighter that they have these uh, little guns on the front. And the lasers will come from just underneath these cowlings. Uh, so, that's pretty cool. And that sort of hides the docker a little bit. Any other pieces that I put tried to put... Uh, beyond this docker, and it uh, gave me an error that I couldn't. Uh... And I realized I didn't color the ship. You can color it uh, all gray, or you could have a, a black uh, TIE fighter. You can accent the wings with gray and black uh, to simulate the gray and black wings that the TIE fighter has. But we're going to uh, take off, and then we are going to grab jump to some place where we can uh, kill this pirate. TIE Fighters usually take off by anti-gravity, but I think that looks pretty good there, after those um, lander engines shut off. This right here is my catnip. Orbit reached. Okay, we don't have any enemy ships up here right now. I think we destroyed all of the uh, Freestar Collective and UC ships that were up here trying to kill me. And I think I've actually paid off that bounty at my, uh, at my outpost. Oh, we need to put some energy into our engines, I think. Let's put all of the rest of the energy into our laser systems. And then get our engines up to full. And then we still have enough energy with, to get our grav drive to about, what, 75%? So that's pretty fast. Let's get up to uh, full speed here in the TIE Fighter. Oh, I forgot to take off that uh, that demo cell. That looks terrible. I want to land and do that because I don't I don't want you guys thinking that that's what that that, that that's what that looks like. It's absolutely horrible. We did not make it. That was...
was also horrible. That's what you get when you live stream. If you're going to be careless, you can take the stairs. That's what you get. Okay, let's get in here and get that other piece off of there. I'm going to the shipbuilder and take off this piece that we didn't need anymore. We just use this to connect the AccuLander landing gear. Otherwise, we want kind of this part here to, uh, to be as thin and unobtrusive as possible. So that it looks more like it's uh, suspended from the ground, sort of from the front. Now with these uh, Nova cowlings, what I did was... You can take the entire ship, cover it, uh, color it whatever color you want. Um, and I didn't uh, color the cockpit all black, uh, although you could do that. If you wanted that sort of look to your TIE Fighter. Uh, but what I did with these uh, Nova Cowlings, I just made the third color red. Which kind of gives them uh they do have lights on the front of them so you could just leave it all gray and then or even black and and have these little lights on the front as sort of your uh laser uh heating up up here and then with the wings i sort of just made uh one of the colors a different color and kind of a hex shaped pattern for the wings but uh it's hard to color them uh the way that uh the way that the tie fighter is colored with that um with six radials coming out that are gray and the rest of the wing black, so. Okay, now that we've removed that piece, we'll take off again and uh, we will go get this, uh, this quest done. Destroy the C Crimson Fleet Reaper 3 at Zelazny. Hopefully we get to see it uh, grab jump. Oh yeah, we will get to see it grab jump maybe a couple times. And maybe get in trouble on the way. Okay, here's our first system. We'll get on to the next one. There we go. We have enough to get there now. Grab drive super fast, maybe like within a second. Or hyperspace, right? Another jump down. Take that, Dad. Power up our engine and our grab drive. And now let's find this guy. Where are you hiding? There you are. Now with the TIE Fighter, um, spare your lasers until you're sure that you'll hit. And then you'll be able to run them almost constantly. We'll get up to speed and get on that guy. He thinks he has maneuverability. He doesn't. Well, cuz, uh, that's that. With, uh, four of those lasers, that's, um, that's pretty significant. Yeah, our cargo is full, because, <laughs> because, yeah, we don't have a whole lot of cargo, and the, the main ship that I normally use, the Dragonfly, has about... 13,000 kilos of cargo that it can carry. Not 1,300. So, 13,000. That's pretty serious. I like how the TIE Fighter looks in space. We can really turn it. It's got some great maneuverability. It's got... Um, Top speed, top maneuverability, um, and top grav drive 
uh, jump range. So that's pretty cool. Let's see if we got anybody else to clown around with out here. This could be our ship warranty. Or it could be an enemy. I guess we'll go find out. Well, our crew is already mad at us. So, Spacer Scavenger. All right, we may be in for it here. But we are going to take this guy out. You've got nobody now. Let's uh, switch to these ships and get them out of the way. Oh, uh, so deadly. Let's boost away. Stay away from those turrets for a minute. Yeah, let our shield come back. We'll boost again. Use some of our maneuverability. Just try and escape. I'm not trying to escape. I'm just trying to get my shield back up. And come back for the attack. Can you imagine if we had missile systems on this thing? We'll boost away again. Use our maneuverability a little bit. Swing back around to it. Our, uh, our guns are all heated up. Maybe we should do it when we're in range, huh? We'll boost toward him this time. There it is. And that is the destruction of that ship. No hull damage. Maneuverability and uh, our powerful shield got us through it. Taken down by a single TIE fighter. That sounds terrible. I still don't know how you lost that picture. We can't pick it up, but let's see what he had on him. Gonna have to come back around, I think. Or slow it down to almost zero and turn around and get it. Six thousand five hundred and fifty two credits. Eighteen ship parts. That's pretty cool. All right, that's the Imperial TIE Fighter. Um, thanks for joining us on Quest AL TV. I'm trying to keep this one a little bit shorter than the last one. And if you have any um, ship builds you want to uh, show me, that'd be great. Uh, you can hit me up on any of my social media here. And uh, I'd love to see what you're doing in Starfield or uh, what games you're playing, what other games you'd like to see me play. And uh, we'll see you next time on Quest AL TV.